Hello folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. How y'all doing? Out here at the Avon Park Club. We're gonna take up the E-Flight Carbon System 150T. T stands for tail dragger. Is that not one beautiful plane? She got lights and flaps and big old strong tundra tires and she got attitude. There's your flaps. Right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Got her set for in the uh, AS3X mode only. And uh, we're gonna take her up, have a little bit of fun. Wind's at my back, so I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna take off into the wind. All right, yeah, that is one good looking airplane. That red and that white. The black trim really shows up well. Yeah. Just so you're aware, I am running a 6s 5000 smart back smart pack got a little bit of a storm coming in but i think we're going to miss it Flaps up. a little bit of a knife edge here coming at me This is one fun plane to fly. Especially them big old Tundra tires. Yeah, Let's see if we can't get a landing here. She wants to float, of course. <laughs> All right, I got my, out there in the distance, if you can kind of see them, I got my sandhill cranes getting in the, you know, a little on the action there. But, uh, just as good on, well, just as good on the rough terrain as she is on pavement. Let's get her, actually, she's probably better in the rough terrain. You know, and if you're, she's not quite, if she had clear, windows you know then i could say she's a lot more scale but that's the only problem with this plane and is only and the not having the clear windows is is a nitpick you know that that's the structure thing and uh but uh the hatch the battery hatch it kind of the battery hatch uh, bear uh, just doesn't hold, hold on real well so you kind of have to be careful if you bounce too hard on landing or if you got a vibration that hatch will come off now there's nothing connected to the hat I mean, it's just got a little little plastic hatch in, that holds it in and tongue and groove in the back but uh, depending on your plane, on your model, the wind is kind of a problem now. But um, your model that you get may have a really weak hatch. Mine has a fairly weak hatch, so if I pop the ground pretty hard, it'll pop right off. Um, the only thing I can think of to do, I'm, I'm trying to turn against that wind. Boy, she don't want to turn. Um, that wind is now you see that dark cloud that wind's coming straight at me now 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 it has shifted so but anyways let me show you what i'm talking about try not motor. motor off but if you look at this hatch watch my finger here i just barely and she pops off fairly easy and it's just that plastic clip and then she tongue and grooves in now what you could do see the corner here you could put some rare earth magnets here and here and that would just give you a little extra security let's see she doesn't really i mean 
a good hard good hard vibration and she's going to come right back up pop right off but and that's that's that may just be how mine is you know i would like to see a little little bit more of a stronger design there so all right and the other thing is the tail wheel is just like draco um they've got metal into plastic and then the plastic has a lot of give so all right we're gonna go right into the wind here make it easier so Go. Got a minute and 47 seconds. That, what I tell you, with that gr dark gray sky, she shows up really well, doesn't she? There. A little bit of a knife edge here. Not much of one. And I'll tell you, for a giant scale bird she goes together so easy at the field and her build isn't bad either but her, as far as her going together at the field <laughs> she, not bad at all Good looking bird. Good looking bird. I love the lines. The design underneath the wing, the checker. All right, I'm going to land this time. No flaps. There we go. Still got 53 seconds. And even that short little bit of runway. Fun plane, fun plane to fly. All right, let's see if we can't land her on a runway this time. Fly her right at me and then turn. There we go. <laughs> There you go, folks. 30 seconds. Yeah, I got 30 seconds, so you know I got to do it. What do you want to hear for you touch a model? Motor That's right, motor off. All right, baby. But just look at that model. Let's see. I don't remember if this has the smart technology or not, to be honest with you. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I still got 3.9492. I could fly for another three or four minutes. Gosh. But that was still a... And that was a six-minute... Hold on. I can tell you in just a second. All right. Got to go back this way. That's a five and a half minute flight. Minus four seconds. Okay. Five and a half minutes. Minus four seconds. And. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. But yeah. Like I say. Five and a half minute flight minus four seconds, and I still got three, almost three quarters of a battery left. So you get a good 10 minutes out of flying, easy. 
and maybe even more if you're real easy on the throttle and just kind of cruise around don't do a lot of landings and takeoffs like i did but uh there you go folks and that's on an older uh 5000 smart pack too well folks there you go that is the e-flight carbon cessna 150t one incredible flying machine and just so you know you hear that roaring hear that that's the flap servos as you fly this plane that will go away my car my blue carbon z cub did it my other carbon z cess that i had did it um my ss that's over there somewhere does it it goes away in time all right folks y'all have a good and don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget Faith, family, friends, and then planes. Bye, y'all.